Hello everyone. It was a pretty uneventful day this Friday the 13th with a full moon. Um, we we got up at like 7 a.m. because I guess we're hardwired for that now after passing out after how awesome Machu Picchu was the day before. Um, quick recap after I had recorded the video yesterday. We finished the hike down the Machu Picchu mountain and hiked all the way out to the Sun Gate, which was a, a longer hike than I realized. But that was fine because we're champs. And then hiked all around Machu Picchu and saw the cool temples, etc. And then hiked all the way back down. Um, which my knee was killing me by the end of it, but I still would rather have avoided the bus on principle, which I'll sort of get to uh, later in this video. Uh, yeah, we woke up, had uh, had some cocktails, watched a little World Cup, and then hopped a long train to Cusco, and then we checked into a little hotel near Plaza de Armas. Um, because it was so uneventful, I thought I'd uh, talk about something else over the uh, over the course of hiking around Machu Picchu and especially watching the comings and goings from the train station. I uh, I started to formulate these sort of this sort of thought experiment about tourism requirements. So imagine, imagine a world, if you will, where in order to access Machu Picchu, for starters, the tickets were a large, there weren't a fixed fee, it was a percentage of your income. So if you made a lot of money, you had to pay a certain percentage of your income. If you made a little money, you had to pay a certain percentage. So it scaled. And it was a significant fee. But once you got the ticket, then suddenly you were told that you had to read a certain number of books and take uh, a knowledge test, either short an with short answer, oral or written. Basically, you had to, you know, demonstrate some understanding of what the, the site is. Now, if you pass, then you'd get to go to see the site. But there would be no bus access or train access. You'd have to walk up just like the Incas used to do. And when you got all the way up, you would enter a special checkpoint. And this is where it gets a bit totalitarian. Completely strip searched. Take all your possessions put in a locker. No cameras. No cigarettes. Um... You're issued a, a camo poncho, so you blend in with the background and with a visor, some sunscreen, and a big camel back with plenty of water and a walking stick. Um, I guess there would no longer be any littering problems because there'd be no litter. Nobody would bring anything in. Certainly no cigarette butts. Um, no annoying selfies and lots of people crowding um, areas that you're trying to walk through. Um, and now here's, here's, a, here's a particularly interesting feature of, of, that you'd be issued at the checkpoint. Something like a bark collar. So if you made a loud noise or jabbered too loud with your friends, you'd get electrocuted. Um, you would also have in this bark collar an accelerometer and a position sensor. So if you fell down a rock and screamed really loudly, it would know, okay, this moved really quickly. I'm not going to electrocute this person who probably fell down. But, all the trails would be marked with a reflective strip, and if you stepped outside the trails into the protected areas, you better believe you'd get a shock. Um, now, you might say this is kind of dictatorial and, and cruel, but, you know, I, I'm thinking of the, the phrase, if you want to be treated like an adult, you have to act like an adult. And I guess the alternative to all this stuff, which after walking around Machu Picchu and trying to enjoy it as much as possible, I feel like is probably necessary for most tour for most UNESCO sites at this point. I guess the alternative is just to, you know, respect other people and uh, educate yourself about the place you're going to go. Um, it was It was startling to hear people just ramble on about, you know, checking this off their bucket list like it was some, you know, throwaway item. When there's so much significance in the site that, like, even a cursory 
read of the Wikipedia article would prepare you um, a lot more. So, you can tell me um, in the comments or, or whatever if you agree with these uh, criteria, if you think this should be instituted. I mean, I, I personally would sign up in a heartbeat to do the, the site all over again if these rules were um, in effect. Or you can say that you disagree. Let me know what you think. I, I'll, uh, I'll record another video tomorrow. We'll do something historical down here in Cusco. See you later.